This is how you can break a connection uh, using a webhook within Monday.com. Um, so a quick outline of what this project looks like, where I need to this. Uh, the basic idea is you have a property that needs to uh, get um, uh, rehab. It needs to have rehab done to it. So we change the rehab status over to needed. That will create an item in the rehab section. Might take a second because I'm recording. There it is. And then it will automatically link it across. That's going to take a second. If it doesn't link across, I'm just going to connect it manually. But it will link it across to the property so you know which property you need to work on. And then it'll uh, push the status across here too. So basically what I need to get done is whenever the status changes from needed to up to date, once the property is up to date, I want to move it down to the archive and I want to break this connection because it's essentially time stamping this one rehab for this property. So I want to break the connection so we can uh, create new ones going forward. So the problem I was having was um, I use this in Integromat to do some little more complicated integrations. Um, I'm going to run this once and I'm going to show you what it normally does if you try to let me just go update. So what normally ha what normally happens here is um, I have a update column values to update the connection column right down here. I have the update connection column to change it to an empty string, essentially just removing whatever connection is there. And so you can see, oh, that actually worked. Why did that work? That shouldn't have worked. Well, it might be working now, but there's another way of doing it, as I found out. Um, so if it's connected and it still won't work, um, I'm just going to and show you the alternative way that you can do this. So let's say it's still connected and you cannot get the, um, you can't get this module to work where it's breaking the connection. Um, you can do some custom code here inside of the Monday developer section, uh, which is essentially changing the column values of that connection piece uh, to blank, or you can connect another item if you wanted to. Um, so in here, mutation is change column values. Um, so you have the ID, the board, and the column values. I'm gonna copy that link across. So I need this ID, copy that link, paste item ID in here. Uh, column values link to Insight 2020 Ingram 9, which is the name of this column right here. Uh, keep in mind that the uh, behind the scenes uh, column ID is different from the display name. So it's just as it said 2020 right here. The actual column ID can be found in this section right here. So the column ID it has full um, developer behind the scenes uh, name of that column. And you can turn that on in the developer section uh, down here. So if we go to a to icon uh, and then go over to Monday Labs, there's a section there to turn on uh, showing IDs for columns. So once you have the uh, column inputted in your line of code here, so you have the column ID, um, it's going, you need to fill out the item IDF. So this is essentially telling you what, what item number do you want to replace it with? So in this case, since I'm, just, since I'm just breaking the connection, you can see this little bracket right here is empty. But if I wanted to, I could put, I could link up another item uh, that I want to connect it with. So if I wanted to, I can go over to the page here and select a different property for it to uh, connect with. But I'm just breaking the connection. So I'm going to just leave that blank, just blank here. Um, and if I go over to rehab, you can see it's connected right there. So if I run it right now in the developer section, uh, I just hit run, it changed it. Over here, you'll see that the connection was broken. Uh, that's exactly what I want to happen. Uh, and then to actually add this into some like Integromat to get it running, um, you can copy this code right here. And then in, in Integromat, there is a, um, a module here called module here here called uh, execute graph query, and in there, actually get connected to that verse. Uh, in that um, query, you can uh, set the method to a post, so we're, we're sending information across, and then you can paste your code in here, and then when it comes to the item ID and the board ID, you can have it populate um, uh, values from the, the rest of your uh, modules. So you can have it automatically do that. This is just a roundabout way. If the um, normal module to update the column doesn't work, you can make it manual. You can manually make it with the um, uh, custom code here.